everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Tuesday, September 13th, and this is the John Deere 7R Series Gen 1 by AMG Gaming. It is 36.5 megabytes to download. It's for all platforms, and on um, console, it is 18 slots. Now, this is a bit of a curious one for me, uh, although it is very nice. It is a John Deere. We have obviously some color options as uh, you can kind of see here so um, the the 36 slots uh, or the 36 megabytes kinds of kind of concerns me a little bit however we will take a look at this uh, first in the store under large tractors uh, we do have a 7R series here with 388 horsepower as a base game so it is it is a little curious um so we're going to find it oh where is it where is it where is it there it is uh no not that one there it is 7r series gen 1 the john deere 7r series gen 1 mod up to 352 horsepower it has a couple of uh transmissions that well, sound different, but mm, are the same. 31 miles per hour at 11.2 uh, tons. Right, so uh, $238,000. Uh, not too bad. Uh, here we go. So <clears throat> we start out with the base 269 horsepower and the auto power transmission, uh, which is uh, basically a CVT transmission, which we'll show you in a moment. Uh, wheel brands, we start with Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vertistein, Nokian, Trailborg. Nokian has the um, European warning signs. Uh, and back to Trailborg, uh, which in Trailborg, or Trailborg, yes, Trailborg, resistance is futile. Um, we have uh, several choices solid rims uh weights and it just has the different tire sizes the the uh, yeah so as you can run through you see notice there's a notable absence of twins here or narrows um the uh the 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 description under store info realistic tire sizings so I'm guessing this is uh, in reflection of what these tractors would typically have. Uh, Michelin, that looks like a narrow tire, actually. Uh, that definitely looks like a narrow tire. And then we're into normal sizes like so. We're actually going to, you know what, we're going to... I'm going to buy this one um, because I want to test out those narrows to see if they... Uh, if we have crop destruction on that or not that's probably a good information there continental also just um pretty much uh, the same choices midas yeah that it's just all kind of there if you want the warning signs there is that uh, particular tire size bkt again just yeah, nothing inspiring or different or interesting, really. Uh, Nokian, we have the uh, communal. <clears throat> the ground king. Ground king with weights. Tractor king. Another tractor king with weights. And tractor king and back. So this is probably the most uh, choices within Nokian I have ever seen or with so many options in Nokia and that's that's actually quite uh, that's probably the most interesting thing about this whole mod and then we're back to Trelleberg uh, John Deere banner that is the um, sticker on the back window yes or no uh, John Deere decals we have yellow on the hood or we can have it silver so we silver or yellow 100 bucks for that uh, now comes to the engine setup. It automatically is charging you a thousand dollars for the uh, IVT. 
which is basically an automatic transmission or you can go with zero dollars for the power shift which actually in this case i do believe is the better transmission um so then we can go we go up then we go up to the 290 in either either transmission the 305 in either one and the three three thirty two either or and then finally the three fifty two either or which is going to cost you forty two or forty one or forty two thousand dollars extra and then we have colors we have a few interesting colors black yes okay orange is nice uh silver which looks blue actually well to me it does uh it looks a bit odd we have the gold which is kind of a neat kind of a neat color and then the green chrome which is actually doesn't show up so well on my tv but perhaps on yours it might and only 500 bucks for that so that's kind of cool and 250 for either the black silver uh or if you want to go with the yellow no charge there right so all totaled up two hundred eighty-five thousand dollars so now on to the good stuff let's uh let's hop into this first off and this is uh, the ivt or the just the automatic transmission as you can see it's got drive neutral reverse and do these narrow tires destroy crop no they do not very good so then you know that then for sure uh, as for options, opening windows and such, it does not have that. I am uh, that is actually a bonus in my book uh, because I don't use those in it. I find for myself personally, it confuses uh, things when you're got implements and trying to open things and stuff with implements, and your back windows opening and doors are opening and mirrors are adjusting and the like interior looks pretty nice a nice view out the back window if uh, that is what you like to do yeah right um beacons lights and beacons pretty nice all standard very good i really personally as well don't care about a hundred million different beacon options it either has it or they don't they don't if you don't like them just don't put them on that's the way i feel about it um right so performance <clears throat> right uh so this is um we have nearly identical um i, I say nearly because i think the tires are slightly different choice of this one and that one however it is the trailer borg with the weights i do believe yeah, Trelleborg with weights, so the tire options are the same. The engine choice is the same. Everything is the same on these two models except one thing, and that is the transmission. This one, as you can see, is the uh, IVT, <laughs> or the automatic transmission, and we will set down the plow, hire a worker, and watch him get up to speed fairly rapidly. Now, this... Um, um, <clears throat> the tractor is 100 and, or sorry, 352 horsepower, I believe we spec'd it out to, uh, yes, 352, and this, um, cultivator is rated at 375, so as you can see, and 9 miles per hour, so it is pulling it at speed, and, um, seems to be a, doing a pretty okay job of it teetering between eight and nine miles per hour and uh, this as you can see is <clears throat> the uh, manual transmission and we also will set off the worker and uh, it does actually of equally uh, now it's struggling a little bit to get up to the nine miles per hour I wonder if there's a little bit of a a slope here uh, perhaps <laughs> however uh, there it is there's nine miles per hour uh, it does an equally good job and as a matter of fact um, 
well they're both they're both fine so either either one you choose is going to do a fine job and not going to be there's no issues with the uh um transmissions working or not or hanging up in a gear or something um i do find that um the manual transmission tractor gets up and goes in a hurry uh right off the bat like you're stomping on it and um if we unhook this and just give it give it some gas it's a little bit slower to get off the uh, off the line so if you're going to drag race these things i would definitely go with the manual transmission and not the automatic which in most cases in real life that's probably true as well well at least in vehicles um however um yeah it's a little surprising that the manual transmission is slightly outperforming the automatic which is somewhat unusual um on farm sim 22 in my experience however either one will do just fine uh missing things are um well it is a large tractor but i hmm, it's a little strange that we don't have a dual at least a dual rear wheel wheel option however it's not a game breaker or a mod breaker it does have the three point link on the front standard and um wheel weights so yeah all in all some nice color options uh nothing not too much to clutter up the store um and there it is that's the john deere 7r series gen 1 for tuesday september 13th uh, by amg gaming 36.5 megabytes to download 18 slots on console i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now. <laughs>